Yeah. Hi, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Trisha. I'm a mom of three. Two of our kids are on the autism spectrum. And today's video is going to be how I cut two of our autistic kids' hair. So I won't be doing Wesley's hair, I'll be doing the other two though. I will show how I've, I will explain as I go how I've cut Cameron's hair when he was a baby and how I do now and I'm going to explain Lucy how I do her hair. I was a licensed cosmetologist for about four years before I enlisted in the military. So I did hair exclusively from 2009 until 2012, 2013, somewhere in that range. And then I enlisted in the military in 2013. And then I got discharged in 2018. So I did about a little or five years at the time. So now I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm medically retired from the military. So I do this from home. So I will be sh so this may not be practical to everybody per se because if you can't cut hair or but I will explain it foolproof or how you can explain it to maybe if you know a hairdresser on how maybe you want their hair cut or give you ideas maybe if you know a friend or somebody that can come to your house and do this or I don't know it may not be practical in all scenarios but I can just show you what we what works for us and what we personally do um, I cannot promise that it's gonna work for everybody because everybody's life is different and every kid is different but yeah so I will show you as we go okay for Cameron's hair we're gonna be doing a fade we're gonna use clippers but whenever he was younger when he was a baby I used to cut his hair when he was asleep in his crib did you know that, Cam? No. Yeah, of course I didn't know that. That was like over like, I don't know, 11 years or 50 years. <laughs> so I used to cut his hair when he was asleep because he used to move all around and be all crazy. So of course I didn't. I thought probably thought, I don't want it because I don't know. Think about it. That's a sharp thing. It's okay. So, yeah. So we'll show you when we're done. But his hair, he gets it pretty regular now. Okay, so we're done with Cameron's hair. I just keep his hair pretty basic. I just did a... Three on this, yeah, three on the top and then one on the sides. His hair I can't do anything extravagant with. So we're done with you. Okay, so we're gonna cut Lucy's hair and the way we do it is in the bathtub. Lucy's obviously wearing a swimsuit because we're not gonna put her name in the bathtub and film her. So we don't normally obviously do this in a swimsuit, clearly. But the way we do, the back of her hair gets really tangled back here. So I do more of a A-line bob is what it's considered, or an, some people call it a, um, it's not a stacked bob either, but it's more of a, what are they also calling? Diagonal forward? Yeah, diagonal forward, but more people call it an A-line bob. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, there's a line right here, and we're gonna bring everything from the front, the sides, everything to this invisible line, and we're gonna cut straight like this. And then once you're done, you just kind of angle it a little bit to the bottom, just clean it up, and that's it. So usually her hair, I can get done in just a few minutes. And I just let it run in the bath, the water, and then we just pick it up after she gets out of the bath. So this is the easy way we do it, because that's the way she can play, and she feels the most comfortable. So, and with her, we're not going for perfect, um, because that's impossible. So we're just going for looks good. <laughs> so I'm just going to pretend there's a... And the other thing is with her, we have to go quickly. So if this was a stack, you would obviously have it more angled like this, but we're going to do it as straight as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. her it's more speed is the thing than a hundred percent making sure you got every little thing so sometimes this takes us two baths we get it and then we do the second bath and we forgot something and we just go back <laughs> Oh, 
she sees her head. <laughs> She's like, what is going on here, guys? Like, there is something in my water. straight across it's going to be longer in the front so this is done on purpose that way it's short in the back but long in the front oh we almost forgot a piece <laughs> no, not as with it oh. what is going on lucy you getting your hair cut you getting a clean up actually done when it's dried what it looks like but like I said it's not perfect I think I missed a little piece I'm gonna grab but other than that she's done so it's gonna be short in the back because her hair gets curly and then the front is gonna be long because we normally pull it up in the front but we'll show you when it's dry ah. yeah mm -hmm. Super curly, as you can see. She's not one to stand still. <laughs> but see then? <laughs> She'll get the front. You can see the front. And then it's still long in the front. Gorgeous. And then it's short in the back. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to somebody. Um, and if you haven't noticed, somebody else got a haircut. Say hi, Reesey. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you.